Hey guys, and welcome back to Final Cut Pro Thursdays. New Final Cut Pro tutorials released every Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern, noon Pacific time. In today's video, I will show you how to download and install Final Cut Pro plugins. Final Cut Pro has a large number of titles, transitions, effects, and generators to choose from. In addition to that, there's an even larger number of third-party plugins that can be downloaded to help you achieve the look you are going for in Final Cut Pro. Some of these plugins cost money, but a lot of them are free to download. The one I'm going to install today is the Time Warp Transition from Ryan Dangle. Ryan Dangle has a lot of really cool looking transition effects and most of them can be downloaded free of charge. I will link his website in the video description below. After downloading this transition, I will close Safari and open a new Finder window. Here, I'll navigate to my download zip file and double click on it to unzip it. Now, I'll open another Finder window by selecting File, and new finder window. From here I'll select the home folder, movies, and motion templates. If you don't have a motion templates folder you can create a new folder but make sure it has this exact spelling. I will show you how to do that in the next step. I'll double click on my motion templates folder. Here I have the effects and titles folders. Since my plugin is a transition I'm going to create a transitions folder. If you didn't have a motion templates folder in the previous step you would create one following the same steps. Without any folder selected, I'll right click anywhere in my window, select new folder, and name it transitions. If the plugin you downloaded is an effect, title, or a generator, you would name it accordingly. Pay close attention to spelling, it's very important. Now I'll right click on my folder and select get info. In the info window, I'll make sure the hide extension box is not selected, and add a dot localized extension to my folder and hit enter. I'll close my info window and go back to my finder windows. I'll double click my create a folder to open it and drag and drop my unzip plugin folder into it. If you have lots of plugins downloaded, you can create subfolders to keep them organized. I'll close my finder windows and restart Final Cut Pro. Now in my transitions browser, if I select custom, I can see my time warp transition I downloaded and installed. Some plugin sources such as alex4d.com have pre-made plugin installers you can download that make plugin installation much simpler. I've downloaded an alex4d wide angle fix plugin from his website which I'll also link in the description. This plugin helps fix the fisheye look caused by wide angle lenses such as the one found in the popular GoPro cameras. To install this plugin, I'll open the installer and select the installer file. A warning window opens up to warn me this application was downloaded from the internet. Make sure you only download plugins from trusted sources. I'll select open and select install from the pop-up window. Everything else takes care of itself. I'll restart Final Cut Pro and open the effects browser. Here I can see the Alex 4D category and the wide angle fix plugin. Plugins that come with their own installers are very simple to add to Final Cut Pro. Just make sure you download it from a trusted source. Next week, we'll take an in-depth look at the wide angle fix plugin and how you can use it to fix your fisheye or GoPro footage. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section and I'll do my best to help out. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. It means a lot to me. Also, if you're on Facebook, check out my page linked in the description and follow me on Twitter for real-time updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.